It's Alberson, it's Ferguson, it's Green Flag on a Thursday night. As they head off into turns one and two, Carson Ferguson will get the whole shot and lead the field down the back straight away. Here at Alberson, second side by side for third at the end of lap number one. It'll be Carson Ferguson, your leader. Alberson rides back in position at number two. In third, it's Garrett Smith, Brandon Shepard in fourth. He goes to work on Garrett Smith down the back straightaway in the battle for third. Meanwhile, back up at the front of the field, here comes Garrett Alberson looking down to the inside one car, nearly loses it back in the middle of the pack. It was Brandon Overton. He's able to gather it back up. You've got a race for the lead, though, as Garrett Alberson rolls alongside your leader, Carson Ferguson. Side by side, oh. the tough four. Hang on to it, Alberson, as he gets his feet back under him. Meanwhile, Shepard up to third as your leader is Carson Ferguson. And now Alberson, man, he has almost spun out two laps in a row, somehow holds onto that 58 car. And as I say that, Ferguson enters a little bit wider that time, and he'll pull a little bit of ground on Alberson down the back straightaway. Shepard watches it all unfold in front of him and now Ferguson goes higher through three and four that opens the door down low here comes Garrett Alberson at the line Ferguson your leader Alberson's going to try to have a run down to the inside of turns one and two Ferguson will take his line away Shep right there in the third spot throw a blanket over the top three cars right now here comes Garrett Alberson trying to make another run Shepard moves up the racetrack, trying to get a little momentum. Down in one and two, he's going to go higher as well, trying to bring in the middle of the racetrack as Alberson is inside of Ferguson. Garrett Smith in fourth, Chris for, uh, Chris Matten back in fifth, Overton in sixth, and now four cars under a blanket out of turn four for the lead. Oh, man, this is fun. Brandon Shepard trying to get a run on the outside of Garrett Alberson, and he's got a run. Trying to take that second spot away. They stay side by side through turns three and four. Madden there as well. Move Brandon Shepard up into position number two. And now Sheppy puts the whip to it on the top side. Last time by four tenths of a second was the lead for Carson Ferguson. We'll see what we've got this time. And Shepard's got Go. trouble. Flat right rear tire on car number one. And that's going to draw the caution with 39 laps in the books. 14 laps to go in the Tar Heel 53. Back underway here tonight at Tri-County Racetrack, Brasstown, North Carolina, and Carson Ferguson's been in command the whole way, and he leads the way, slides a little bit off of turn number two. Here comes Alberson. He's bringing the 44 of Madden with him. Oh, oh, almost contact between your top two. Somehow they stay clean, and now Chris Madden starts to force the issue for second. Chris Madden going to try to drive the 44 down to the inside and grab that spot. Boy, Carson Ferguson's car has gotten just a little tight, it looks like, down in turns one and two. Alberson will change his line. He'll go to the Shepard line. Here comes Madden. Here comes McDowell. The veterans on the move right now. The youngsters lead the way. They're three on for a second off a of two down the back straightaway. Here comes McDowell as Alberson will go from second back to fourth. And now Chris Matten turns up the wick in car 44. What a race at the front of the field. This time by 11 laps to go. Toss a blanket over the top four drivers. Here comes McDowell limboing through turns one and two down the inside. McDowell to second. Dal, Del McDowell won this race in 09. He wants to do it in 22. Ferguson says, I don't want you guys to win. 10 laps to sort it out here tonight. Is now Madden goes up top. You got a battle for the lead out of two down the back straight away. Dale McDowell started 10th and he's pressuring Carson Ferguson for the lead. This time by nine laps to go. Side by side Carson Ferguson stays out front. Ferguson leads the way. Madden might get them both on the top if they're not careful. Down the back straight away. Meanwhile up to fourth. Now it's going to be Overton. Here comes McDowell. Will he go to the lead off turn number four? This time at the line. Do you have a new leader? Yes sir you do. Dale McDowell with 45 laps complete. No! Carson Ferguson tries to get oh, back no. by on the inside and loses the tail end of the 93 and the caution oh, tag is no. out. Well, they shut those off late. Here we go. Eight <laughs> laps to go. And Dale McDowell from the 10th starting spot going to try to hold on and get a oh. Castro Flow Racing Night in America win as Madden slips up the track. Here comes Clay Knight from 15th up to 3rd. White flag is out. Dale McDowell has a healthy advantage over the 76 of Brandon Overton as they head down the back straightaway for the final time. Through turns three and four, checkered flag in the air. The winner of the Tar Hero 50 is going to be Dale McDowell. Coming home in second, Brandon Overton.